uh, everyone trust you are doing very good so uh, welcome to the series of repair troubleshooting class we've been looking at for a few days now and I believe you've been getting a lot of value from this video and if this is your first time on this channel sure you like share and subscribe to my channel for every videos like this so we started this series a few days ago and I believe you should have understand to a very good extent so by now you should know how to do basic troubleshooting from your PC input right to your transformer state to check if your primary side and secondary side is okay then you move to the uh, power stage uh, and then this uh, for this particular issue we've been able to deduce that this uh, diode is bad and we know we have to replace that all our capacitor still looks good our 7815 still looks very good perfect reading well uh, our tip for one for the three everything good out there so today what we want to do is uh, i've not replaced the component because we'll still do that in that video in this class will still definitely every repair we'll do on this particular combo i will show you everything so we are just still at the troubleshooting stage and i don't want to do everything at once so that it will not be too jam pack i want you to really grab everything i'm doing this one is different from scoop cramming so you should be able to grab it well so get your multimeter ready if you don't have one to where to get one even though it's just a small one get one that's very useful too so uh now what we want to do is uh we've been able to deduce that this is a 40 part alone just this diode this resistor and this resistor those are the three that are bad so far but we've not checked our transistor maybe any of them uh, are 40 or not we don't know uh, and i already said it that this is 2SC transistor, this is 2SC, this is 2SC, this is 2SC. So the 2SC transistor are the one that are responsible. They're taking the positive voltage. While the 2SA, they're taking the negative voltage. So they are the uh, PNP, that is negative transistor. These are the positive transistor. Don't worry. If you want me to do a detailed video on that and how to check it, don't worry. Drop it in the comment section. If I have enough request on that, I will definitely do that video for you guys. But that is not where we are going today. What we are going today is to check are uh, this guy still very okay? Because from uh, the, the class troubleshooting, we've been able to reduce all these parts are very very okay. Uh, but before we go there, let's check this uh, concrete diode. Uh, sorry, not concrete diode. Concrete resistor to know whether they are good or not, which is very very important. We need to be sure of that. So. Get your multimeter ready once you get that check your continuity then touch the edge of both concrete resistor it must give you continuity once there is no continuity or any reading my dear don't waste your time that concrete resistor is bad some of you call it joke or a lot of name anyway just know it's a resistor you understand it's just that this is a 5 watt resistor 0 0.22 ohms uh, some companies may use 0 0.3, 0 0.4, either way, but most time we shall use 5 watts. Exactly, now. so it's not about the cramming. So touch the hedge. This particular one is still good. Let's check the other one. Um, just find your way around it to touch it without damaging anything. And if it is not convenient, let's turn to the back. Uh, the first one is here. It's this place to this place, so I can touch it here. See, so it's good. The second one, let me feel where it is. It is here. The second one is here. So the first one was here. Still very okay. The second one is here. Let's check. Still very okay. This is the third one. Still very okay. The fourth one. Still very okay. Alright, so all our control resistors are very good. Then your diode before you even check if our diode are good you remember we have the 2sa the 2sa that is the positive and the negative transistors there uh, you know, for another thing to look at is the legs although we are not sure whether they are good or bad but what i'm even looking at here is very dangerous if you look at my dam my transistor here you can see this side it's not firm again there is a break there you should be able to see it now you can see there is a break can see it now there is a break at this point there's a break at this point there's a break here 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 to here you can see it's breaking i guess in the process of me losing it and the rest you can see that is what happens but uh, that is just by the way so i'm just saying that in case our transistor are okay we don't just couple you check in case there is any break so for this one I, even though my transistor is okay if it is not touching then there will be no contact so that is a very quick one to note 
Now let's go and check each of this our baby here. Let me remove this guy too, so we don't damage this. But all right. Remember, I gave you a very quick tip. When you are not sure of the wires and the components you are moving, just always tag, tag, so that you're not going to put a wrong voltage into another one and cause problem for yourself. All right. So my meter here. Yeah. So let's check our transistor. There must be no short. Once there is a short, let me put it where you can see. Once there is a short within any of our transistor, don't waste your time. That transistor is gone. I believe you fully that. So bear that in your mind. So this is our meter now. So let's start with this one, for example. You can see this. You see, this is a short. The second one, this is a short too. Okay, this side is good. This side is 40. Uh, well, a lot of factor can cause that because the fault of just one of it will transfer to the other. So, to, for accuracy sake, the way we do it is you dissolve one or two legs there, then you read them individually. But you just hearing this continuity tells you that your transistor is 40. It may be one, it may be two, and if you are very lucky, <laughs> everything may be 40. You understand? But for this one, and I should tell you that there is a problem with one of these transistors. It may be one or two. You understand? So, you can see. I have a continuity if I read this against this still good the exact probability is not this let's see this one this side short this side reading to this side this one is reading this one short this one short short this guy here is having issues you can see both ways there is a short there this 2SC5200 is a P, uh, NPN transistor which is a positive transistor can see it problem so this guy is bad although this one's there is still likely an issue yeah so but before we have to dissolve this if we dissolve this one or remove it we will now reread all this one if all these ones are still working perfect then we just need to replace a single one and we are good to go so you can see now in this troubleshooting episode we've been able to deduce our rectifying diode is bad one of our transistor oh sorry our resistor here is bad this one too is bad. All our capacitor and the rest are good, but there is a problem along the part of this uh, this transistor. So this one is bad. Normal. You can see both way reading. This one is automatically out. Uh, don't worry. Uh, just watch out. That's why you have to subscribe. So when I drop the next video, so you get notified. So in the next series, uh, we'll dissolve these guys because everything I'll be doing in this in the repair of this combo. I want you to be very plain so that each one and every one of you can really see the entire and full process of it. Alright, see you in my next video. Thank you.